So for the raglan sleeve, first we have to make a kimono sleeve because we have to put the sleeve and the bodices together. Mm -hmm. And so we're gonna be building like a big T. So you need to make sure that you have enough paper here where you're doing your back sloper, enough paper here where you're doing your front sloper, and enough paper out the side to do your sleeve. Basically, we're building this. So just make sure you have enough paper to be able to put all three pieces. Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna start with the front. And you can do one, one dart or two darts. I don't care which sloper you're using. We are just going to be extending out this and it's less complicated if you do it with the single dart, okay. but it doesn't mean it can't be done with the two darts. Okay. And I'm just gonna trace the outline of my sloper. Make sure I put my bust point in there just so I have reference lines when I'm finished. habit for me to put my notches on even when I'm not necessarily going to be using my notches. So we need a front and a back, right? Yep. Need a front and a back. So trace the front first. It's not. Okay, when you're done with that, we're going to connect the back to it right here on the shoulder seam. However, our back is complicated because it's got a dart in the shoulder seam, okay. and I don't want that dart necessarily to stay. So right here at the neck, I need the neck of the back and the neck of the front to be touching. However, I need them to be gapped full scale, I need them to be separated by a half an inch out here on the arm's eye. So I actually start with this distance. Now if it's half an inch for full scale, that means it's a quarter inch for half scale. And I am not working in full scale or half scale or full scale anymore. So when I end up, I need that to be this distance here and touching here. So touching here, and I need this line here to be lined up here on this end here. So I'm gonna start tracing this way and I'm gonna trace to the bottom of the dart. And then I'm going to use my pivot point and I'm gonna pivot this dart closed. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So, and it still has that gap. Yep. So I just start tracing from the end of this dart, make sure it's touching here, do the neck, do the center back, do to the opening of the dart. And then using my pivot point, I would pivot this dart shut and then I'm right lined up on the, okay. and then I would finish tracing the outside of the, the rest of the shoulder seam, the arms eye and to the outside of this dart. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm going to walk you through just extending out your side seams here and drawing your guidelines on, and then I'll pause the video and you can do what you need to do. Okay. okay. Once we have the front and the back, I'm just going to label this the center front and this the center back so I don't get confused and I know what is what. On the arms eyes, I mean on the side seams of our bodice, Full scale, we're gonna extend those out an inch. So half scale would be a half an inch. 
and I want to extend that line up into my arm's eye openings. I gotta be bolder, sorry. Because you can't see it when I'm timid with my pencil. Okay, can you see how I extended it clear up in here? And then I'm gonna extend a guideline. It's not gonna be a real line, so I can draw it dotted, and it needs to be right in between these, but it needs to originate from this um, point on the shoulder and the neck. And I'm just gonna draw it right out the middle of the arm. So that it looks like that. Does that make sense? 